Hello everyone, I'm Iron Phoenix and welcome to Industrial Craft 2 build 333. Um, so what's been going on? So few points to make things that I kind of either haven't or things that have changed, whatever. Anyway, so the advanced miner now has a recipe. You now need an MFE, an industrial machine uh, casing. Oh, an advanced machine casing, sorry. A teleporter, four alloys, and something else. Oh, and two miners as well. And it will, as you can see, it's, this is what it's doing at the moment. It's making a large hole. Now, this was the hole when I put in the, I think it's the OD scan. Uh, the O. Yeah, so the OV scanner is doing this now, th this bit. The OD scanner was doing uh, this bit here. So you can see, um, at, so the size does change depending on which scanner you put on it. Um, don't think there's any other little notes I need to make on that. But you can see it running, we'll just, yeah. Uh, what else? So since uh, I think 325, 326 and 327 they were fixing a few bugs. Now some of those bugs were dupes, some of those were crashes. Um, so if you have pro uh, problems with either one of those then it, chances are it's now fixed. Um, they've also fixed rubber trees. So their leaving, leaving saplings are no longer anything special, they're just considered as normal trees. The other main thing that they've added now is that you can now store energy within um, storage units and wrench them and then move them around. So, but by default, you lose 20% of the stored energy within. You can change that in the configs. So, you can put energy inside, say, this MFSU. Let's put some energy inside it see you somewhere today and so we've got 49,152 NG in there now so if we get a wrench and we get it pick it up it now ends up in our inventory there it is and it's storing 39,321 so it's removed 20% of that energy, so you lose 20% of that energy when you wrench it. But then you can then just put it down again as normal. Just put it down over here. And it has that energy inside it. If you wrench it again, you lose 20%, but you can then move it around. Which is quite a nice uh, nice thing. But however, this also means that um, because of how that basically works now, you can't have stacks of uh, NG storage units, so you you can't now stack them. I don't know if they'll um, smooth that up a bit, but um, for the moment, yeah, you can't stack them. Um, or you can also uh, disable um, storing of energy within uh, wrench energy blocks if you so wish. But I think it's quite a nice feature that you can do that. It's kind of akin to the Red Power 2 bat boxes, you know, so you can charge them up in one area and then move them over to a different one to actually run your machines. Obviously, there's a downside with industrial craft in that you will lose 20% uh, of your energy. But I will say this now if you are planning on moving things around like that, you're probably already using Railcraft anyway. So that isn't necessarily a downside for people who are charging th uh, batteries up in one area then moving to another them to another because they'll use railcraft to do it um, I think this is more of a you know you've put that down somewhere stupid uh, but you put energy in there so now you want to take out that block maybe upgrade it whatever and you can still keep that energy that you've made which is quite or most of that energy that you've made which I think is quite a nice idea there's nothing else really that industrial craft has done so far, so I will leave you there. Um, hmm, okay, this is doing something a little bit um, interesting in that. 
Yeah, there's some issue. There's certainly some issues with the advanced miner still. I don't know quite why it's now started on the layer down when it hasn't finished this layer. It's not quite as um, smooth as the Billcraft quarry, but I think it is just generally going to eventually be a lot better. I think um, it certainly runs a lot better, seeing as it doesn't chunk load. Um, I can't show you the chunk boundaries, but uh, yeah, from what I can tell anyway, it doesn't chunk load. If it goes a little bit skewy when you're using it, uh, things like um, overclockers at the moment will make it um, mess up, um, so you can't currently put overclockers in. But if it does do that, you can just quit your game and then reload it and it should fix the problem and should restart it again. Presumably also that would, would work if you're on a multiplayer server multiplayer server a multiplayer game and um, yeah and it and it messes up presumably because it, I don't think it chunk loads you could just then go out of it and then come back in uh, and I'm quite glad that it doesn't chunk load actually because it it uh, it's certainly a better way of of, uh, of doing things you know, like the Billcraft quarry which does chunk load and subsequently um, is banned on a lot of servers but um, yeah, so that's uh, that's industrial craft too. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.